Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see batch management, integration of material management and quality management. Let's see what is the process I'm going to do. I'm going to create a batch first, then I'm going to create a purchase order. That is, I'm going to buy a material from outside by creating purchase order. Third, I'm going to do goods recept. Fourth, I'm going to assign batch. During the goods recept, I'm going to assign the batch. Fourth, I'm going to make it as a quality inspection stop. Fifth, I'm going to change it to unrestricted in qual after quality inspection. Let's go to the SAP system. Go to the SAP system. First, I'm going to create a batch. Go to MSC 1N. 1N. MSC 1N. So this is my material. 7167 is my material. I'm going to enter the plant. Enter the storage location. Press enter. Yes. Okay. Enter date of manufacture. Date of manufacture, 1st December 2022. Shelf life expiry date, SLED, best before date. This is shelf life expiry, expiry date. Three months. Let I'm going to make it as a three months from the date of manufacture. Okay. Now, available from date, 15th of this month, December. Okay. Press enter. And this is my batch. This is my batch. Let me take this batch. Let me take this batch and save it. Let's save this. Okay. Now let me create a purchase order. ME 21N. Okay. Enter the vendor. This is my vendor. Enter purchase organization, enter purchasing group, enter material 7167. This is my material. Enter quality, PO quantity, enter plant. Finally, enter the storage location. I have done order confirmation by creating purchase order. Just save it. And the price is 1155 rupees. So this is the price. I am going to buy it from the vendor. Okay, this is my purchase order. Let me take this purchase order. This is my purchase order. Take this purchase order and then I'm going to do goods reset. Just come out of the screen slash in. Go to MIG. <coughs> Migo. Migo transaction. I'm going to do goods reset. Go to goods receipt, purchase order, and enter the purchase order number. Present. Click onto this non order item. Item OK. Select, enter the batch. This is my batch number. Let me select the batch. This is my batch number. Enter the batch number. And Post it. Post. Four five triple zero one double eight four eight. It's my purchase order. P move. So I have done goods reserve. This is my material document. Material document number. Let's go and check the inventory. Slash and MIGO. MMB for checking inventory. MMB. Okay. Let's delete this. It should be in quality inspection stock with this batch. This batch. This batch. Should be in quality inspection stock. See here. Quality inspection 10. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to unrestricted. And then I'm going to build the purchase order. I'm going to build the vendor. Now go to QA32. Let's go to QA32. Execute. Just execute. With a plan, double one, double one, execute. See here, this is my this is my material inspection lot has been created for this material. See here, inspection lot is being created. Let's select onto this line item. Click on to usage decision, UD. Now select UD code A. A is accepted. Yes, A is accepted. Click on to accept. Choose. Go to inspection store, lot stock. Now I'm going to make it as a unrestricted. This 10 quantity, I'm going to make it as unrestricted. 10. Now let's save this. Now refresh. When you refresh this, it would have been gone. See, it has gone. Now come back. Now let me check the inventory. MMP. Execute. It will be in it will have been in unrestricted. See unrestricted. This previously it was quality inspection. Now it has been changed to unrestricted with the same batch. This is my batch. This is my batch. See here. It's been changed to unrestricted. Now let me do the vendor invoice. MIR. I'm going to MIR. So I have accepted the stock. Make it as unrestricted. Okay. Enter the date, invoice date, select the tax. F1, enter PO number. This is my PO number. Let me enter the PO number. This is my PO number. Press enter. Calculate tax. Click on to calculate tax. Enter baseline date. Go to basic data. Enter. 1, 2, 9, 3, 6. This amount. Balance amount. This amount. Press enter. Now the balance amount is 0. You can save it. Directly you can save it. That's it. This is how we create a batch and assign to the material. Thank you. Thank you very much.